All right, we're back. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Uh, it's a good day. It Great. is a good day. What a life, man. Yeah, day to be alive. What a life. But, uh, hey, before we get too far into this, I am going to have to step out because Brittany's bringing the boys. I'll keep them. Bye. I'm going to have to step out. Uh, you've <laughs> yeah, already raised three. Already there ain't up. no reason to raise two more, man. You're good. <laughs> so you know um, do it. I'll have to step out here. But we do have a guest coming oh, yeah. uh, to fill, fill my spot. We <clears> kind of <throat> resemble each other in a little bit. But Willie told me one time I look like a young dad. Whoever's coming. Whoever's yeah. coming. <laughs> Whoever's on his way. A young version of him. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think version. is a great compliment. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it because uh, – he, he oh, we'll quiet. go ahead and say it. It's Burley. So. It's yeah, Burley. Burley. Oh, no, he's quite the character. I love Burley because he's one of the few that runs around with Phil that's actually useful. Oh, yeah. Like, he's a renaissance man. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying is he's not a parasite. Like, a lot of them people <laughs> hang around Phil. They just they 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 just take in what's oh, theirs. Yeah, Burley. Burl's our, our duck blind building man. Well, and if you need him to do anything, he will. Yeah, he'll like, do it. I mean, he, he's got a useful set of skills. Now, I worker. would like to go down to the truck stop and spit on somebody, just see if he still got it. But <laughs> He does. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny you said that, because Burl's going to come uh, train jujitsu with me this evening. Oh, no. Yeah. There's two people that's going to hurt. There's a reason there's weight classes. There's two people that's going to hurt. The first person Burley goes against and Burley. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, Burley, he, I think he is 60 years old, but he still moves pretty doggone good. And he's strong as a I was Ooh, just man, that. Is he strong? Like, I, every time I see Burley, I pray he doesn't want to shake hands. Because, <laughs> yeah. A, he makes you feel inferior, and B, it almost snaps in two. Yeah, I mean, but, the man's hands are like this. Like it's, He's a big man. I mean, just... It just meat hooks. Mm -hmm. like, well, you know, he lives up in Colorado now, and he called me up. He said, uh, he said, Stone, is that a jiu-jitsu help you with your anger? <laughs> I said, well, I said, it will humble you. If, you. if you need some humbling, that's one good thing that it's good for. And he said, you know what? I'll fix and start. Yeah. And he, so he started training jiu-jitsu about two months ago. I don't want to see Burley angry. And he said that he absolutely loves it. Oh. Well, no, no, because in his profession, when they run up on somebody that's high on drugs or something and they're trying to oh, take yeah. care of them, Jiu-Jitsu would help him handle them. Well, he could handle them already. Well, yeah, but hey, but jiu -jitsu this will, would help him better. This will make his skill level a little yeah. more terrifying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All he's really got to do is look at most people, and they're going to do what he says. Oh, yeah. he's got to look about him, that's for sure. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw him down there, I pulled up down fields. We all go and duck up, and I pulled up, and this this ominous figure got out of this truck in the dark. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, uh, whoa, hold on now. Who's yeah, that? this is a big man. <laughs> this is a big man. Uh, saying you'd that. always heard him talk about Burley, and we knew Bur I knew Burley was coming to town, but then when I looked, I said, that fits. Yep. Burley fits. I ain't even got to see the rest of him. I just saw a shadow. I was like, I'm going to be friends with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he's just one of them you identify quickly. Like, he, you know, back in the day, you walk into a bar, you're like, I'm going to be friends with that guy. Yeah, I ain't right. making him yeah. mad. That's the way Burley was on that duck hunt. I said, I'm sitting I got right a picture him. of him on my deer camera. Look, I thought it was Bigfoot for a second. He had his face paint on and his waders and well, no, no, one no. arm that way rascal. back behind him like that. that when you see his silhouette oh, like man. you're talking yeah, about, that's what it, yeah. that's what it looks like, his Bigfoot. And the reason I'm going, we're going through this describing is for y'all that listen, you can't really appreciate the size of the man until you – I mean, now he ain't like Andre the Giant or nothing, but, yeah. I mean, he is just a big man's man. Like that's He's right. a man. Like, like Paul Bunyan. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I think of when I see Burley coming. He don't own a him. chainsaw, just an axe. Yeah. Or just his hand. I mean, he'll choke the tree to death. Like, I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, his hands are unbelievably big. It's, it's, it's uh, one of the wildest things. And his dad was the same way. Oh, big boy. Big boy was And huge. his daughter about 6'2". Yep. She works at the local pharmacy up there and take care of me whenever, whenever we get medicine. I mean, she's. Burley? No, she ain't Burley because she's a lady. But, I mean, right. you look at her and you're like, yep, that's Burley's kid. Oh, I yeah. mean, you get it. You're like, yep, okay, all right. Tall yeah. people. Yeah, big family, big family. Not, But not like, not sloppy big, just big. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, 
man, <clears throat> you know, but that's a, that's a good thing. Oh, it'll hey. be an interesting conversation for sure. We got a lot of a lot of good stories. I just know him, you know, being a nurse, man. I, 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 that's not who I want working on me. <laughs> that's know, why I quit. I mean, not really. I, the classes yeah. were hard. I mean, but. I was like, I don't have the look of a nurse. Think just, about just the, say everything's going south and you need a catheter. <laughs> and there's Burley. Yeah. <laughs> with, no. that, with, that, with that tube. Take me uh-uh. six foot no, further you. south. Like, yeah. cut it off. Like, <laughs> just kill me. I mean, get rid of it. Like, <laughs> get rid of me. <laughs> I don't like, want to experience There's, there's, oh, there's got to be a better way. Oh. Like, uh-uh. Mm. Uh-uh. Man, I, I do love him, though. He's... Mm. He good as gold. No, oh, he's yeah. uh, and I'm not just saying that because he's bigger than me, and I'm scared of him because I am. I'm legitimately terrified of him. Well, I, oh, well no, no, I'm never going to tell him that's, that. That's just showing good sense. Yeah, that's right. If you're not scared of him, hey, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's called wisdom. Yeah, he make a shotgun look small. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Is that a twenty gauge? Nope, twelve. Uh, no, it's uh, ten actually. Oh, okay. Oh cool. man. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad he's back in town. That does mean work starting down at the duck hole, which is the thing that mm-hmm. most people don't appreciate about Phil and really most of us is it, it ain't 60 days. It's it's 365. Oh, it's, it's a year. It's a year-round deal. Yeah. Uh, what you do in May has a direct outcome on what you get in November. So, um, And he's quite the craftsman. And if it'll hold him, it'll hold up. So, oh yeah, he's a good carpenter. Oh, ac- excellent carpenter. Yeah, he yeah he's jack of all trades, Renaissance man, whatever Renaissance. you want to call him. Yeah, yep. chef, borderline chef. Yep, dog yep. trainer. Yep, kind. Of, I mean, he 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 does a little bit of it all. So I'm just glad he got blue up there with him. Oh, me too. I can't hear that sucker from Colorado. We'll see how those puppies turn out. Yo, he's he's breeding uh, blue to some little yellow female. So there you go. We'll see what happens. Mm. Very interesting. <laughs> well, that blues drive and retrieving skills. Yeah. yeah they'll be worth they'll be something. They'll oh, be yeah. worth their weight and gold. Or his nose. I can hear Phil now. Hey, Burl. Hey, Burl. Hey, Burl. They got a lot of the same mannerisms because they've been running around together. For oh, yeah. So. 33 years. He's on the yeah. cover of one of them. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, He's got the look. He's one of the original duck men. Yeah, he won the OGs for for Phil, ran him smooth to Colorado. Phil does that to a lot of partners. Right. Run them smooth out <laughs> yeah. of state. Yeah, well, actually, I that's look. a good point, Martin. He does one of two things: he runs them smooth out of state, or drives them into ministry. So I don't know what yeah. that says about the man. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> in John David's uncle's case, he did both. Uh, yeah, so. that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, he finally had enough of it. Yeah. I, you know, there I have I've noticed that about a lot of our former employees, though they end up in ministry. <laughs> I don't know what they find so bad here that they got to go be ministered. They got to go tell the people about <laughs> Jesus because <laughs> wild times. Uh, well, what that, what old boy say? Rough. What that boy say? Phil, I don't want to be a duck man yeah, no more. I don't want to be a yeah. duck man no more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, duck hunting is a well, duck hunting with the robbers is a tough. Well, tough. that's right. I'm you glad said you put yeah. with the robbers. Oh with no, the no, robbers. no, 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 yeah. It's still duck very much with, enjoyable. Yeah, duck hunting with other people is a, a lot easier, and, and there's actually fun involved in it. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's duck wild with the Robertson sometimes is not fun. What's wild to me is when we didn't have no money or nothing as a company, we travel all over the world trying to figure out how we're gonna spend, you know, pay for all these trips we're going on. Now that they got like private airplane money, they don't go nowhere. Yeah, stay at home. <laughs> they stay at that guard hole. <laughs> like I don't get it. I, I don't. I, but I think now it's more about the misery than it is the hunting. Oh like, yeah, Phil told me one like day. How long does it take for me says, to break him? Stone, I like this hard duck cutting, don't you? I'm like, hmm. It ain't hard. It's just, uh, I'd it's, always told him that man. duck hunting oh, ain't hard. hard though. It's just terrible. Oh no, yeah, but it, it's yeah, but it's always been hard with the Robertson. Well, hard duck hunting is waking there up at two is. o'clock. Look at look at that. Well, yeah. Hey, when the when the man's motto is, "Who's the man?" Well, barely is. Look at W E. Yeah. Yeah. You know, w E was on a three foot step stool in this photo. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Jace yeah. is sitting down for some oh, reason. Oh, the problem is they're all on a log except for Burley. Yeah, that's right. Duck every every one of them standing on the log except Burley. 
Yeah. Marley reminds me of a grizzly bear. Him yeah. and his dad both. Yeah, you don't want to poke him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the last thing you want to do is poke a grizzly bear. Yeah, no, I don't mess with him. Uh-uh. That's a general rule of mine. I'll stir the pot with anybody, but I ain't, uh-uh. No, he, he's fine. He get a free pass from me. But <laughs> Lordy be. Yeah, I, I don't. It ain't hard duck hunting down there. It's just bad duck hunting. Let's let's rephrase what it is. It ain't hard because you get in a boat or a four wheeler, you drive up to the blind, you step out, you get in it. Ain't hard. Hard is the two a.m. public land boy. That crap hard. Yeah, that's right. That crap hard. Well, hard pass. Trust me, I do it like three or four days a year just to remind myself why I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, I don't know because <laughs> we don't we don't Robertson don't like to travel. I we guess we to. did enough of it. When we was young. Oh, we used to travel all the time. Oh, we used to drive all night, step out, get in the duck blind, well, kill them, do our thing, and well, come on back home for about three days, but not no more. Which I ain't mad at. I'll, I am a homebody, too, but it's kind of fun seeing different parts of the country duck hunting. That was that was always that was always kind of neat, just seeing how different Well, plus, different the, they're not as, uh, the ducks everywhere else are not as wild the one, as the ones in Louisiana. Because after they get here, They've been shot at all the way down. Yeah. So. And then when they get here, Burley tries to chokehold them or something. Yeah. <laughs> no. Anyway, well, let's take our first break. I'm going to go watch the kids. We're going to let Burley jump in here. And, See where it goes. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all have some fun. I'll, I'll catch up on the back end of it when I get there back. There we go. Ah, spring. When you go from freezing them off to sweating them off. When do you just get to be comfortable? Let me tell you, Martin, when you treat your pair to a new pair of Tommy John underwear. <laughs> oh, we've started. Okay. I, I, I was just reading what they you said. You went with the first. It's better than anything I could have said. Well, you went with the first intro. I really like the second one. While most of your body's enjoying warm spring weather, below the belt, your, briquet, your briquettes are glowing. <laughs> that, whoever wrote that, bravo. Hey, Tommy John, you don't, only, you, you don't only make fine underwear. Y'all got some great writers, no, man. Yeah. That so, they yeah. do. I needed some on earlier because hey, I had to sit in your chair. What? I apologize. That's why Tommy John don't have fans. What, what they a, got? Hey. What they got? They got fanatics, boy. We're crazy about these things. <laughs> hey. Because when you wear them, Si, you're oh, that much more comfortable. All the time. Hey, look. Oh, you need to be comfortable because this spring has done sprung. We crowd in summer. It got hot this week. So you get now's the time we spend a lot of time outside. You want to be comfortable when you're outside, right? So help keep everything cooler. Tommy John underwear with dozens of comfort innovations like breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. Yuck. They got you covered for this Louisiana humidity or wherever you may be. With over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star review ball. <laughs> I didn't know it had that in it. <laughs> Testicles across America love their Tommy Johns because there's no more flopping, sticking, or chafing. <laughs> <laughs> These writers are fantastic. I do love they're them. They're in freedom, boy. Look, one of the people <laughs> size talking about when they don't have customers, they got fanatic raves. The most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair and you'll never want any other underwear again. I can't disagree with that sentiment. So I, I, I can only out of, agree. If they went out of business right now, when the four out, I just go without underwear. Well, you know what, though? They're not going to because your butt is always covered by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. That's how much they believe in it. Look, we love them, so will you. Get 20% off your first order right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. Save 20% right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for details. That's right. Order you 14 pairs. Roll that clock, boys. All right, you ain't been to my house lately, have you? Uh, not in a while. Well, well hey, look. What'd you do? You know, it's been raining a lot this year. Mm-hmm. You know, well, hey, with my COPD, you know, I park as close to the step as I can. To do that, I've got to go off in my yard in my grass. Yep. So, look, in front of my house was a mud puddle. I done just... Just kept going and parking right, right by the steps. I actually opened my door and I, I had to watch it because I'd hit the step thing. To, you know. Well, that cost me $15,000. Oh, the concrete? Yeah, because now I've got like a 50-foot uh, oxbow of concrete 
And I told them, I said, hey, guys, <laughs> do not leave any room between the concrete and the steps. In other words, hey, pour it right, right against the steps. Can't hide money. Can't hook it. Can't hide that money. Well, hey, I had to have it. You know, my wife said, I done told you about that. You look what you've done. You've made me, it looks like somebody's had a, you know, been four-wheel driving in our darn yard. I said, well, I have been two-wheel. I didn't need to put it in four. Uh, you fixed that, didn't you? But I fixed it. Paid for it, too. You know what you might need? What? Your COPD, a nurse. Which is why Maybe we so. have... No. We have, we have a special we guest. Have a special well, hey, guest. Are, well, you hey, gonna, are you going to introduce him? If I have any kind of attack right here, Mur hey, right here can take care of Are you going to introduce our guest? Yeah. Hey, everyone, <laughs> this is Burley. <laughs> Okay, this oh, man no. has run with Phil how many years? About 33 years. About 33 yeah. years. A long okay. time. A long time. You were okay. on all the early Duck Commander videos, right? Yeah. Yep, some of the some of the early ones. Some of the early yeah. ones. He came along first. Phil has, look, when Phil builds a duck blind, he's got this thought in his head, you don't make nothing square. You don't to check it to make anything square. So everything he ever builds, it's always catawampus. There's nothing in the world. Hey, catawampus means, hey, you can't find a square nowhere on it. <laughs> no square. Okay. This man is a carpenter. Okay. <laughs> he used to live right next door to Phil, and him and his dad built their, I call it a three-story treehouse. That's where Willie's at now. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> Willie's got it now. Well, he, he, he hangs out there about five days out of the year. Really but, does. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this man is a carpenter. He can build anything. Okay. He's built a lot of our duck blind. Okay. Then Mac Owens come along. Okay. And he's also a carpenter. No, he can build anything. His uncle. Now, that's his uncle. Yep. Okay. That was like the original duck. Oh, yeah. Man he, right this there. was the original mm -hmm. duck. Uh, there used to be a famous yeah. scene in one of the old videos where everybody's chewing tobacco yeah. and spitting. And then. There is like a 15 to 25 minutes of nothing but. But movie might make up so. You know, there you go. But I mean, hey. <laughs> yo, it was. But, I said, y'all overdone that. Do you, a remember, bit. do you remember what Burl did? He was the last, oh, yeah. last no, no, one. No, he to had spit. a cigar. He smoked cigar a lot. I shouldn't say smoke him, he chews them. Shoot him. There you go. Okay. So he's sitting there and he's, <laughs> he's got, he's like old Clint Eastwood. He's done got it down to where it's about that much left. Well, hey, he just takes it. <laughs> now it's chewing tobacco. They're not for smoking. They're just, yeah, just they ain't holding for smoking. in your mouth. This one ain't for smoking. This yeah. one's for chewing. Yeah. Okay. And then the spitting scene and they both, all of them in there, you know, just, you know, for like, uh, it's about 30 minutes. Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah. It was you know, actually this, about. I mean, hey, the best one was, well, I don't even know who it was. It may have been Mac. <laughs> Took it done this way and just, you know. Yeah, Mac, he won the spitting contest. Yeah, you know, hey, it's like, hey, here's the wall over there. Just a stream. No. Special set of he was like that. He was like that. I don't remember what it was. Some kind of frog was sitting on the bank and a and a, a dragonfly come flying by about about four foot. He just with his tongue just whoosh. <laughs> That's my uncle. I, and we're proud of it. Right. Very proud and of it. I'm talking about it was that quick. You know, oh, dragonfly man. was flying around there talking about good grief. And then he's you know going down the frog's throat. Oh. Yeah. Well, Burley, you've yeah. you ran with them for a long time. Back in the, what was the 80s, 90s? 70s. 70s? Yeah, were you around the 70s. Then? Well, yeah. I yeah. built a field and bought that property in 72. Yeah. So what, what do you remember about those? Because all we get size version, which sometimes is, we don't know how much of it's true. The words you're looking for <laughs> is catawampus. Catawampus, yeah. Catawampus. So could you angle, could you give us some angles on those days, maybe? Uh, well, when Phil came to Jesus, he showed up at the church building where we were sitting down. And, and my dad, he was an ex alcoholic, so he just kind of took him under his wings. And and he mentored Phil. And about a decade later, then, then Phil mentored me, which was kind of ironic, you know. Mm -hmm. 
But it was 89 whenever Phil baptized me and and I started building that that big tree house up there on the behind the hill there. And his dad is like him. You didn't want Big Boy to grab you because you ain't going nowhere. If he grabs you, if he ever got a hold of you, <laughs> no, you can forget it. You ain't going nowhere. So, hey, so I won't tell, tell them the story of uh, when uh, when Big Boy squared up against W.E. Red Dog Phillips. I don't even remember. what. If, <laughs> well, Red Dog, he, he was always, always mully grubbing. You know, he was meeting up there in front of Phil's house. He was whining about where we were going to go duck hunting and Big Boy got behind him and got down in a three-point stance, you know, OU, Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Remember that one? <laughs> uh, you remember that no, one? No, go ahead and tell it. It's so, come back to me. So, I know if Big Boy got in the three-point stance, something get, somebody said get big, knocked on Big Boy, butt. my dad got three-point stance and just ran into WE and just picked him up and just said, what are you doing, boy? You know, he knocked it. <laughs> <laughs> and W weighs about three fifty on the hoof. Yeah. No, so that's why yeah. I had to say I said, Hey, him and his dad, okay, you can tell they're they're you know, son and, and father. And they don't call him Burley well, for yeah, zero yeah. reason. Well they yeah. both played football at the University oh, of yeah. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. What position did your dad play, Burl? He played nose guard. And you were a linebacker? Linebacker, yeah. Back then, you went both ways. He played offensive yeah, guard offense and nose and guard. Defense. Oh, I, they call them the Iron Men. Yeah, that's when way. men were men. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 No, no huddle offense. Oh, Phil, Phil had some back issues one time. <laughs> I don't, probably from pulling in the hook nets. And Big Boy told him, "Said, hey, hey, look, I pop that thing, and you'll be all right." <laughs> After he grabbed him and popped him, Phil said, "Hey, one thing you don't ever want to do." He said, <laughs> "He likes to kill me." <laughs> Mm. He said, because when he grabbed me, he said, Poof! and you heard your pow. You know, I said, well, did you feel better? He said, afterwards, I felt better. He said, but that's dangerous. He said, because that man don't know his own strength. That's what he did in, in Mexico. When we went to Mexico, he was the chiropractor. Mm -hmm. I went to Mexico. My, <laughs> my memories of Burley, or Mr. Dane, as I like to call him, um, he led a team down to Mexico and he'd take some of the high school kids with him on a, like a mission trip. And we were well behaved because, oh, yeah. He, you know, yeah. We don't call him Burley for no reason. Yeah. He was a big guy. But we yeah. had a lot of fun. I'll never forget that trip. But yeah, Burley's in the house. Oh, yeah. And so Burley's where? occupation is a, an, no, no, Phil. RN, correct? Yeah. RN. That's R -N. You look like most of the ones that, that I know. for redneck. It could. Yeah. So si, could you imagine waking up? No, no, that's what and, Phil, and Phil told us. Burley. Burley, I don't know, son. He said, you know, if I, I don't want to have a, 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 a any kind of surgery where I'm put to sleep, and then when I w wake up, you're waiting on me. He mm -hmm. said, that sounds like I'm in, I've done woke up in hell. <laughs> I don't know. I think I look more like the Archangel Michael than Lucifer himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he said, I want to just get a grief. I think I went to the wrong one. Y'all got me in the wrong place. <laughs> so, Burley, you're in Colorado now? Oh. Yeah, I'm up in Colorado, in Whitewater. What is it with Colorado? Hey, Your I'm, uncle went to Colorado. They all left yeah, us for, Max up there. Yeah, for uh, higher mountains. It's beautiful. Well, I, I like it, though, because Max said he's he's out on his porch drinking his morning coffee, and he looks up, and there's a cougar on a limb on, on a big tree in his property. Not a black panther. A <laughs> not a black a mountain lion, cougar, mm. That's not cool. Oh, I know. I thought it was cool as all get out. Well, I'm going there this summer, so yeah. now I'm no, nervous. No. Hey, that's cool as all get out. A puma on a log on a big oak limb. Yeah, you got lions, you got bears, yeah. things that'll hunt you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but look, let's take a break, and then I want to get back into the dogs that y'all were talking about before we started. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. got to talk yeah. about Burley's dogs. Uh, yeah. Labrador Retrievers, boys. Si, you look well rested today. Oh, hey. You know why? Why? I Hell. sleep on my pillow. Oh, <laughs> as long as you ain't sleeping on my pillow, we're going to be fine. That's the cool hey. thing. But. Was it a my pillow or was it a my pillow 2.0? Oh. What do you think? 
2.0. Latest and greatest. Put the 2.0 Look behind at that it, man. Buddy. He, he ain't messing around with no last hey, year stuff. We only this year to MyPillow 2.0 from our friend Mike Lindell, the MyPillow guy, who makes all the MyPillow stuff that we use at the house. So, you know, for Mother's Day, I went ahead and ran back. I paired them slippers for Miss Brittany. Oh, good call. Uh-huh. Good call. And she said, you ain't trying to say I need to get pregnant again, are you? I said, oh, God, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But when she got them twins, see, she had to go all slip on. So the slippers were a lifesaver. Because them feet, the by the end of the day, look like his microphone. Like, I mean, they ain't get big. But they got everything you want. The MyPillow 2.0 has a patented adjustable feel of the original MyPillow, but with brand new fabric. That's made with temperature regulating threads. So the cool thing is it's a fabric and not a finish. You so just said it. It's cool. It is cool. Right. But that way when you wash it, you dry it, all that, it stays because it's the actual fabric and it's not a finish. It's cool. So it'll be there for the life of your pillow. The MyPillow 2.0 is the softest, smoothest, and coolest mm. pillow you'll ever own. MyPillow 2.0 with temperature regulating technology is 100% made in the USA and comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. So, right, I mean, you can't. You ain't no beat that. All for a pillow? Are you kidding me? I don't know if I've ever had a pillow last 10 years. And they're saying, hey, there you go. It's got a 10-year warranty on it. But they don't have just pillows there. They got towels. They got sheets. They got slippers. They got they got it all. Whatever you need for your house to make you more comfortable, you can find with MyPillow. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck to get the all-new MyPillow 2.0. Right now, get the all-new MyPillow 2.0, and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code DUCK. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code DUCK for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK. Order now. Because when they're gone, they're gone. Well, Si, you remember when we first started our deer management program? We had two main obstacles. Yep. Their names, Phil (laughs) and Burley. It's it's pretty bad (laughs) when you've got a guy on the property and he's, you know, taking care of everything on it, okay? And we're trying to, you know, he's managing the deer herd. Okay, but he's got two serious problems. One is the landowner himself. Yep. Okay, because Phil don't give a flip about deer except for one thing. Kill a little one and bring it to his house and he'll eat it. Preferably a buttonhead. That's right, preferably a buttonhead, which is a little buck. Okay. (laughs) But I have to agree with him. They do taste better than the little dough. not Not true. But anyway, then the other one is... Uh, one of his best friends that comes down and hunts with us. Yep. Okay. They lead each other astray. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay. When these two get together, they're going to kill something. Okay. And and it it's always, we got two deer on our property, big bucks. <clears throat> he named them. One of them was, okay, since I had a band, I went out and sang. And the song I sang was George Jones. He stopped loving her today. Okay, <laughs> so look, we named we named the biggest one. Okay, George Jones. Well, that's because he looked like he had a rocking chair yeah, on his head, yeah. and okay. looked like a rocking chair. On and he had a song. Uh, and I hey, don't need everybody your rocking knew. Chair. Got that okay, yeah. everybody knew. Do not shoot George Jones. Well, I had a picture of him on my yeah. phone, and I showed. I've been showed showing everybody. Phil. I said, "Whatever y'all do, don't yeah. shoot this one." And uh, y'all let you finish. So, so hey, <laughs> you know where this story's going. <laughs> I got a okay. feeling. <laughs> the landowner with his partner in crime, okay, they go deer hunt, okay, and look, it's raining, cats, dogs, cows, and horses, and goats. <laughs> okay, so what do these two do? They get a four by eight sheet of plywood that's laying around because we've always got four by eight sheets of plywood laying around for building duck barns. Who doesn't? And they tie it on top of Phil's pickup, okay, where they can leave the windows rolled down and sit there and watch the road. True story. On his property. So everything's true so far. So far. Okay. Okay, So look, they're sitting there, and this water just just, is raining, you know. (laughs) And Phil says, oh, good grief. There's a big old buck in the middle of the road. The old bird said, well. Should I shoot him? Phil said, if you want to, boom! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story. Oh, oh, yeah. But guess who it was? 
Uh, he Jones, come to Georgia. Yeah. And then, hey, hey, to rub salt in the wound, yeah. Phil was, I'm telling you, Phil was responsible for this. <laughs> okay. He told Burley, I he said, hey, the you, need to, you need to text Jay on his phone, and here's what you tell him. He stopped loving her today. <laughs> and that's exactly oh, what he hey, did. That's what he gets on his phone, <laughs> and know. they took a picture of him. Oh, yeah. about, and under it was talking about, he stopped loving her today, boys. <laughs> oh, so Phil was just saying, my oh, friend's hey, bigger no, than all your friends. He don't give a flip yeah. about oh, yeah. And this is my Robertson. Oh, there's something in a, in a Robertson. <laughs> They just love to scald their fellow well, man. Well, no. Back in we, the day, it was. We do actually like to strap people. Oh, and, that's it. And, hey, it was a strapping, okay? Uh, cause, <laughs> cause this doesn't put out, okay? This is one of them do not do. Yeah. Done. Okay, hey, so as soon as you said that with these two, oh, it's fixed to happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two years later, okay, we got another beautiful nine point. Yeah. The young, deer young hammer. deer. George Jr. Yeah. yeah. George he ain't but two years old. Okay. <laughs> so we, hey, Jay does it. Here he is, guys. This is the future of this deer herd. Do not shoot this deer. <laughs> <laughs> These two get together again, <laughs> and they lead each other astray because, hey, they're going down the road and Phil said, hold, hold, hold. Back up, back up, back up. He said, "Is that deer hair I see in the in the thicket there?" Yeah. Now we're on a private road. Yeah. In a four wheeler, we're not riding down a highway. <laughs> well, that, this is no private yeah. property. But anyway, he, yeah. he look. He said, "Isn't that deer hair?" And I, Bird said, "Yeah." Boom. Yeah. Phil said, "Give me your rifle." <laughs> yeah. Give me your rifle. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> then they go up there and ground check it and said, "Phil, said, oh good grief, that looks like the future of our deer herd." <laughs> I thought that was a yearling. <laughs> I thought it was a year. So, hey, uh, but you can't tell the owner he can't go on his own property. Yeah, well, that's right. Especially with reinforcements. Yeah, plus like reinforces, okay. Hey, just a know. linebacker. Uh, so, hey, yeah. With them everywhere he goes. <laughs> so, we might near Stone, might near have got the, uh, the Mission Impossible yeah. to pull off here. I yeah. don't know. Okay. He's done a pretty good job. We're, so we're, we're, we're fine. Well, hey, we're getting there. Getting hey, there. Well, we're going to take we a quick a break. Of and then we're going to talk about the dogs that we were going to talk about. And then, and then you know, okay. you never know what's going to happen. Something Don't. happened. Something happened. That's <laughs> enough about the deer. Let's we'll talk about back. dogs. Let's yeah. talk about we'll dogs. Because, back. oh, I was already just going. Oh, I thought we was going to take a break. Keep it rolling. Hey, break. Okay, Keep rolling. Break. All right, we're back. What are we going to do? Well, you know, because Bradley back. is a renaissance man. Yep. Okay. Wait, Carpenter. Nurse, but you also are responsible for all the crazy dog stories we hear, aren't you? I'm, I'm kind of the dog man well, now. He, he's making sure that old Blue's lineage lives on. Lives on. Because everybody that hunted with him around here, except for Phil, wanted to put a bullet in his head. The man, yes, right. Well. Okay, well, I'm just telling it is. <laughs> I'm just telling it is. Maybe like, just, you know, uh, Jason Roberts take him home shot him if, if, if Phil would have uh, let him. Well. Nowadays, they still would have shot him. I would have. I shot wouldn't him. have shot him, but I just wanted him to retire. Well, I, from I wouldn't country. have shot him because I, I'm a dog lover. Now, I did kind of facilitate <laughs> the retirement of Blue. You did, yeah. you did. Now, no. now if y'all if y'all hadn't heard, this dog is Phil loved this dog more than he loved his kids. I think. That's it. He, and, oh, he did. <clears throat> the greatest <laughs> retriever we've ever had, hands down, but the worst manners of any dog that ever lived. He'd take a dump in the boat. He'd pee on you, grit. If he'd, you try to go to sleep like I did, he'd yep. pee on you. He'd oh, pee yeah. on you. Yo. Barely, you trained him? No. 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 no some Long story. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That, that one, we don't want to get it. Just say, anyway, just say this. Anyway, the dog has terrible manners. Oh, he, yeah. he whined in the duck blind the whole time you're hunting. Oh, no, 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 no. Whine is that too. That tail was wagging. Uh, that yeah. Tail, hey, bump, look, bump. Wine is too soft of a term. Yeah. How? This is uh like uh if you ever go up north and you hear wolves, they'll they'll ooh, 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 at I had night. a basset hound in the duck blind. Oh no. That's it. No no look, mm. hey, <laughs> as soon as the Jason or Phil or Stone hit the duck call, all you was gonna hear was <laughs> 
you know, and then if just you know, if you had to hit it again, it was then it was that and the tail. <laughs> you know, so look, this Whoa. dog. <laughs> just to say, hey, he cost us a lot of ducks. So now oh, Bur- well, Burley's in charge of not, making another one? Well, not according to Phil. <laughs> according to Phil, that dog has saved us, which is true. A lot of cripples. I, he's the best cripple getter I have ever I ever saw. Any dog that can go head first into the buck brush after a cripple Woody, that dove. And come, and and get come get out back. with him every single time the is best incredible. I'll, give, I'll give you this. Best retrieve I ever saw, at bar none. We're on Dog Bayou, okay? A big mallard drake, greenhead, comes in, lights about 85 yards wide. Yeah. So we do this. Phil says, hey, y'all get your guns ready. We're going to do the one, two, three, and everybody put it on him and pull the trigger. <laughs> so we all said, all right, Phil's countdown. Talking about, all right, one, two, three. Seven people in the blind. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, Phil wanted to kill that duck oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> we want to kill that mother bat. So look. It's a rough year. <laughs> hey, as soon as the shots are fired, hit blue's gone. Okay. Fifteen minutes later, we look. Song said, good grief. There goes the mother drake over in front of the blind on the complete other side of the lake. A quarter mile away. A quarter mile away. And tell me, up, oh, and there's Blue right behind him. He's flying about this high off the water. Yep. He can almost fly. <laughs> the duck fly. is flying. Okay. Yep. Look. True story hey, so far. That was 15 so minutes. Far. Another 15 minutes go by and I hear. <laughs> he's got that bottle of drink in his mouth. Okay. He ain't got COPD, but he's breathing like he did. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, after about a three-quarter mile run, oh, and, hey, uh, he come back with him. He sure did. That is That's a true the story. That's the greatest one I've ever seen because that duck could fly. Not He'd only run that. run him down. That same day, we would we would cripple ducks <clears throat> down that would go, I would say, six, 700 yards to the other property. Mm-hmm. On Franklin's Go property. down in the woods. Yeah, on Franklin's property. Two hours, three hours later when the hunt's over, Phil would drive Blue around there, let him out of the rig, <laughs> and, and he'd point him in the direction where that duck fell and come back with him. Yeah. Near about every I single time. Hey. Times. And it'd be dark yeah. sometimes. Dead. That's right. Bruce. It's black dark. Dead. Yep. Dead duck. He had a great nose. So Who's you're dog? training up new blues with manners? Uh, we, we bred them down a little bit to this, <laughs> this dog. Her name is Minnie Pearl. <laughs> and we called her Pearl. So we're Old try, Blue trying won't to get do, so we took him out. to Minnie. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Trying to create the perfect <laughs> right. retriever. Because if we get good manners with blues... That's Retrieving right. skills, we got you would have a gem then. I guarantee you. I mean, like a diamond. Well, he was so good at retrieving, we don't even use dogs anymore. We're waiting on one of Burl's. Well, no, no. Uh, we got three of them in school right now. Three. The same trainer that trained Blue has got them down there in St. Joseph. Well, he trained uh, them now. His name is yeah. Will. Yeah, he's a yeah. trainer. He I trained dropped, I dropped yeah. mine off today. He don't teach them manners. No. Well, hey, look, you know, Bill don't care about manners. And I'm with him there in a way, in one way, but it's the other way, no. Well, nobody in the blind's got good manners. Why should the dog have good manners? Yeah, that is true. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you say? You stop saying. a lot of truth in it, my, my brother. <laughs> Especially Phil. Oh, oh man. Wow. But boy, we, we've had, had a lot of memories with that dog. Ooh. Ooh. But Phil loves the fact that that dog will get on me and Jason's nerves. Oh, he, he kind of likes that. He, no, 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 oh, no. he loves yeah, it. Yeah. He'll pee on y'all's grip. Well, hey, no, no. He'll pee on ours. Jay, what... <laughs> Jay should never own a dog, okay, because he's not a dog person. There's just some people that, no, he ain't a dog person. Yeah. Well, Jay's got two little five-pound yippy dogs yep. that chase you through the neighborhood. And that dog well, across he, the street. He's not, you know. Kid. No. <laughs> oh boy! Now we're talking. Now we're getting personal about well, dogs. No, no, because I, I will say in his fit, he's a, he's a good duck hunter and a good duck caller. Who, Jace? Yeah. I oh, would he's, hope so. Hey, he's he's but, the best. But uh, he's the as best. a dog owner Triple and man. dog man, no, no, not his style. He don't have the command voice. Jace would not do well in the military. 
Okay, you got to have a command voice, and Chase has not got one. Yeah. Do you? Blue. Blue, Blue come here. Bill <laughs> <laughs> said, Chase, you got to tell him. Yo, come here. Yo. No. Can't I, do it. Yo. I'm not anti dog, but I am anti dog handler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The man blowing the whistle, I don't like him. I don't care who he is. <laughs> I don't like blowing whistles, waving our. That have white glove on. You know. Hey, duck on white glove on. Whistle oh, on the boy. Duck line. <laughs> 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 it's, it's like a three ring circus in a duck blind with a. Oh, I'll never oh. forget that day. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> Phil had his hand out there working the new dog. This was about 10 years ago. And uh, it was opening day. We had ducks swarming us. And he's and in front Phil, of the blind. Phil done sent his man out there to work the yeah. dog. Yeah. Brand new, first year, first duck hunt he's ever been on. He's waving his arms. <laughs> and me and Jace are standing there watching ducks trying yeah, to come in. Trying to get in. Just waving them off. Yeah. And, and he's waving flare, them off. Flare, 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 flare. Yeah. And finally, Jace couldn't stand it no more. He looked down there at Phil. He said, hey, Phil. He's like, what? He's like, Train your dog in the off season. <laughs> and, and Phil, he said, you don't know nothing about no dog. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, Phil, Phil asked, what he say? So I said, hey, he said, train that dog in the off season. Let's get to killing ducks. And Phil said, he don't know nothing about no dog. <laughs> I mean, he got he got upset about it. It, it hurt his feelings. Oh, no. Yeah, it hurt his feelings. So hey, ever since that day, the dog. ever since that day, and that was Blue, by the way. Oh, yeah. That was Blue's yeah. first hunt. Was the trainer with yeah. y'all? Huh? Was the trainer with y'all in the blind? I, I guess I guess that's oh, who it was. No, he was standing out in the water in oh, front no, of yeah. the blind. Oh, no, he was in Train, front of the, the blind. The trainer yeah. was. Yeah. He's in yeah. front of the blind doing this and this. And Blowing the you know, whistle. And I'm looking oh. at him like, have you lost your mind, idiot? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got ducks coming in. They oh, scared yeah. everything. Yeah. We got mallards trying to get in the decoys, and we got a band in the stupid decoys going, back, back. <laughs> yeah, in the decoys. But ever since that day, <laughs> Just, you know, Phil... Just been a real. He said, "You know what? Them boys gonna talk about my dog like that. I fix to show them." So it's it's been it's been on. Scald me and Jace from that well. day forward with, with that dog. Uh, so no, that's why like because because he, yo, he, especially Jace. Jace set his bag down. Blue go very pissed on it. Yeah, I know it. I know it. <laughs> That's the one thing we've learned from Burley showing up is Phil <laughs> wants to scald all of y'all. Oh, no, oh no, that's right. No, no. You would think that Phil and Blue had got together and they had discussed it. Tell me, hey, every chance you get pee on Jason's bag and Jace don't too. Yeah. Well, leave mine and Burley's <laughs> alone. Because he, you know, the side goes to sleep, just pee on yeah, him. Yeah, he did you know. <laughs> no, he had the manners. <laughs> you know, he's ill mannered. Oh, oh man, ill mannered. He was. Hey, in. I'll give you a due. He's the greatest retriever we've ever had. Oh, he he is. He well, is. Burley, we have pre I think Martin's about to step back in. Martin oh, was good. on child duty, um, also known as fatherhood, oh, um, and he's a good dad. But Burley, you're the man. We always love when you stop by and they're here in town. Thank you for joining us. I'm oh, sure the yeah. fans enjoyed that. Good to be here. Well, how was my stand in? He do all right? It was pretty he good. He all right. Pretty good. Burley's very cool, calm, and collected. <clears throat> but I guess when you're that big, there's no need to worry or be yep. as jittery as me. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't move. Yeah, you hear loud noises, and you flinch every time. Burley just kind of. Look at him. Look over his shoulder. He He's fine. No, very methodical. He doesn't have a whole lot of wasted movements. Everything he does is pretty well thought out. So, um no, I, I hate I hate I missed it. I guess I'll have to listen to see what happens. Right. Hey, yeah, tune right. in, Martin Duck Call. But the boys survived, so we're all good. Hey, you did a good job. Yeah, well, and they're they're alive. Fatherhood. They're headed home. They're headed back to the house. But uh, I guess we'll we'll just jump into the to the uh, to the mailbag then. Why not? Yeah, remember email anytime. Hello at duckcallroom dot com. I enjoy reading them. Uh, I got a really cool one today. Okay. From Aaron in McKinney, Texas. Uh -oh. Whoa, that is a good one. The okay. duck call room helped me lose 223 pounds. Whoa. How did Whoa, we do that? dude. That's amazing. How did we get him to lose it? Yeah, you? how did Her. we do that? Her. Um, well, Cause see, I would have figured we were kind of the anti that with the snack bracket. <laughs> well, we got well. Hey, 
But we got Stone over here who's okay. lost a lot of weight. Right. Remember, I got put in the hospital and told to lose weight, so I worked oh, yeah. hard for a little bit there. And, you know, struggles. Yeah, same here. Struggles. Then we had kids. And I but sat- we talk about it. We talk yeah. about losing weight and trying to be healthy. Yeah. Well, she said today marks her one-year goal of 10,000 steps each day. She did take a shot at me. She said, I knew if John David could do it, I could too. Proud of you. Uh, she mentioned uh, Stone talking about being shape and being active. She said she feels Godwin's pain. But over the last 27 months, she's lost 223 pounds. Wow. That's what's up. Hey, congratulations. So she started, did she send a picture? No picture. Oh, dang. That'd have been all, I'd, I'd just like to see what a person looks like that lost 220-something yeah. pounds. I mean, that's That's, that's cool. a lot of weight. What was there. her name? Aaron from McKinney, Texas. Well, Aaron, there you go. Congratulations. Yep. Way to go. But That's don't awesome. don't give us any of the credit. You did it. Oh, so hey. I mean, my my hat is off to you, young lady. That's awesome. Way to take back your life. That's cool. That, that is, is awesome. That is cool. that's cool, man. Yeah, just cuz, you know, the, I mean, she us- dropped a U. Like she lost a U. She was toting around a U. Think mm-hmm. about that. Johnny D. I'm gone now. Yeah. She was toting around a me plus well, not plus, minus 40. So, I mean, that's still, I mean, that's wild. Man. That's impressive. That's incredible. I don't care what you say. That's, that's impressive. That's incredible. Congratulations, darling. Yeah, that's just really cool. And, yeah, we talk about And Stone's the resident kind of fitness expert in here. Um, and he kind of stays on us a little bit. Yeah, um, I, saw something with, I saw something with Stone the other day. Uh, a video clip from, like, probably 2012 or so. Oh, yeah. You had to look about you, son. <laughs> of course, I did too. I looked like I run face first into a beehive, but you know, it was like, I mean, my face all. I must have carried thirty pounds in my face. I mean, it was wow. You couldn't we were even all see. You couldn't even see. Point. You couldn't even see my eyes. Like, oh yeah, we let ourselves go for a little bit. Oh, we yeah. did. That's we're, what that waffle. That's what that waffle house do for you when you hit that every day for a year. I did that for a year. Take that ten thousand steps. Mm. And then waffle I, house every day for a year. Uh, for one year. Boy, that's seven dollars. That might a even be a heavier commitment. Well, definitely is a heavier commitment. A harder commitment to keep. Yeah, I had three eggs over easy and hash browns every morning Ooh. with a to-go Coke, son. Oh boy, for a year. You know what the end result of that was? Yeah, three hundred and eighteen pounds. Episode one, season one, Duck oh. Dynasty. And I, I went. My back <laughs> went out like three times in a matter of a month building duck calls. And I said, I'm just sitting here. Now, if you throw your back out building duck That's calls, what I'm talking about. Every, every time shape. I would bend over and pick up a thousand inserts and put them on that top box right there to get them close to me because I was lazy. Every time, eh, eh, <laughs> she gone. And so I said, I got to do something. Yep. And went and saw a doctor. He said, you can lose weight or we can cut on you. The choice is yours. I Ooh. said, hey, uh, yeah, let's try that yeah. diet out. Yeah, let's try that why don't, diet. Why don't, we try, why don't we give that a whirl You were a big, like, fruit guy. You switched from Waffle House to, like, a small cup of fruit for breakfast. I ate fruit a lot. That was my that was my only – my only carbs were natural sugars. Yep. So the only carbs I did for, like, a year were all natural sugars. No, no processed carbohydrates. It was all melons, berries, grapes. I and mean, now I'm like – the only thing I still enjoy is watermelon. I got burnt out on all the other fruits. Like Watermelon's good. Man. I mean, I still eat the other fruit, but the only one that I still find enjoyable is watermelon. Now do yourself a favor. Cut you up a fresh pineapple, put it in a Ziploc bag full of strawberries. Yeah. Let it sit in the freezer. A piece of pineapple soaked in strawberry juice is one of the finest things you'll ever eat. That's good, because regulation pineapple, I don't care much for. What? I don't like him. Uh, I like pineapple. I, I don't. love pineapple. Fresh pineapple? Yeah. Oh, man. Coconut. I don't. What are you talking about? No, but that meat and fruit diet, that's the real deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robo shows on that. He put me on that. Yeah. No inflammation whatsoever. It works. Oh, does it work? I yeah. spent a lot of time cleaning out my, you know, I was working out a lot with Stone and got real into it. And then job switch, life busy, which is just all straight up excuses. But yesterday, Cleaned out the old boxing arena in the garage. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I sent you a picture of your trash you threw in our dumpster. Hey, whoa, <laughs> Take it easy. I opened, I opened the lid on it and there was a rod tube in there. And I sent him a picture. I said trespasser. I yeah. said, I ain't but one person a fishing rod, rod tube would there. come from. Yep. <laughs> that was me. It was in the way, but now I'm, uh, I'm about to get back into the boxing and the the other thing I did was, and was the bike cut out all soft drinks. Like oh yeah, all soft drink. I didn't even and look, I'm the kind of guy that can drink dr peppers like people drink bush I've, light i've told my wife like, that. i mean like i can sit there and just drink one right after the other and now 
if I have a if I have anything other than the stuff I take with caffeine in it, it's merely to solve a headache, like to quickly try to get rid of a sinus headache. Or My something. dad That's lost it. thirty pounds basically on sweet tea alone. Yeah, he was sitting there. He went and ordered because you know they got the calories listed at the restaurants. And he ordered a sweet tea, and he started doing the math in his head. He goes, "Oh my word, cut yeah. those out!" And now he's like, he, you know, big days only like one ninety five these days. Oh yeah, he's looking good. Hell yeah, he look, his glasses even fall off his nose now. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> he lost weight in his nose. They used to just sit there all day. Now he he, he constantly had to put them back there. on there. <laughs> uh, but that's what an awesome story. That, that is, is. That's Aaron. Cool, we're that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. That's cool. That I mean, like Martin said, that was all you, but. If we were any inspiration or advice, that's just cool to hear. So thank you for that. You won't and, regret it. And then I got one more here for today that's interesting. Hey, Martin, did you meet a little girl that was going to Alabama uh, versus LSU softball game outside the office? I did, there? yeah, right out, yeah. right out front in the parking lot. I met them too, but they emailed us. Um, super nice family from Texas, Courtney, Blakeland, and Jonathan. Um, yeah, because I asked him, I said, what sport does Alabama play this time of year? Because <laughs> they were all decked out in their roll tide gear. Yeah. Oh, they were headed. I said, what, what, <laughs> what are they playing? Like, uh, but super nice people. But she sent me a story uh, about rhino poachers and how they try and, you know, stop that from happening over in Africa, which is interesting. But she wants to know our opinion on something. What should the penalty be for poaching? Hmm. And be careful, because you you might all deserve that penalty. Well, I'm not sure. Can we define poaching? Guilty, guilty, <laughs> guilty. And guilty. guilty. Oh, him too. Oh, yeah. Oh, pine, absolutely. Po- pine, yeah, poacher. pine poacher. Pine, pine poacher. poacher right there. Yeah. That's yep. why I said, can we define? <laughs> you know, if it's a if it's an animal that's in good standing population wise, then maybe yeah. he's just hungry. That's right. Maybe he wasn't poaching. Maybe he was hungry. And are, are poaching trespassing? Like, where are we at? Like, well, I need to, because there's a fine line yeah. of like, it yeah. was in season, but I was on the other side of the fence. That's technically trespassing. That ain't poaching, is it? Poaching to this me is like out of season, closed <laughs> season. Now, out of season, I ain't ever messed with that. Me I've, I've I've been an accessory to that. Here. <laughs> but I ain't ever, I didn't hold the light or pull the trigger. Yeah. I this, was just there because you know what? That's where the beer was. This That's the only here, reason I was there. We're that, talking about a younger me before Christ, I'm saying. But, BC. Yeah. This poaching here is if they're killing an animal. That's protected. For money. Protected for a, like a horn. Yeah. You ought, to, you ought to spend the rest of your day okay, I'll shoveling. I'll put you in jail. You ought to spend the rest of your day shoveling that animal's feces. Yeah. I would put you in jail whatever like zoo Mark said. or conservatory yeah. or what you ought to I'd then you become a, a servant mover. of that of that animal. Yeah, I would make you a dung mover. In that case. A dung mover. Yeah. Dung. You would become a dung beetle. So see that's why I'm saying poaching. We need to really define, yeah, define what, what, it is. what that is. Well, well, then, the people uh, endangered animals to sell their horns, like just yeah. throw them under the bottom of the jail. Oh yeah, yeah. And the people that that's cornerstone, an easy one. cornerstone. Make them a cornerstone of the the, the and the people the that go around be like whacking stuff life. that ain't got no business, like I mean, that's just people oh. driving around the back of trucks, spotlights, pay yes, out, pay out. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm totally have never been for that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like that's just not, not my thing. Like we got Louisiana, we got a long deer season. If you can't get your six done in that time, shame on you. Like I mean, it's it not goes your from, sport. It goes from October first to January thirty first. Yeah. yeah, ample time. Yeah. And if you need more than six of them, Walmart now, now sells you're just ground being, beef. Now you just well, you just being gluttonous. Yeah, like being I'm greedy. saying, six per person in your house. Yeah. Like man, yeah. come on now. Like I, I just I can't get behind that. Follow the laws of the land is the the true. Yeah, yeah but I mean, like I said, now I, I watched it happen. But again, BC, like, but I wouldn't dare. I, I was always scared, man, scared to death. Even before this was my job, I just, I, I don't like I don't like breaking the rules, man. I'm a rule follower for the most part. Like there's some that I think are stupid, but <laughs> but you gotta follow. You, know, them. you gotta yeah. somewhat follow them. Yeah. You gotta yeah, operate but- within the areas of gray they provide. But <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well, Martin, I got a Bible verse to send us out of here. Go ahead, big dog. Uh, well, Burley got me thinking about just a good friend. Like what? Like that was really cool. What he talked about, like. His dad mentored Phil, and then Phil mentored him. 
And so it's a pretty simple verse, and you probably all heard it. Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Mm. You need somebody in your life sharpening you. That's a good one. You're not going to do it by yourself. Find somebody, that whatever you're doing, if it's losing weight, I, Stone had to kick me in gear. If it's living the right life, mm. Burley needed Phil to kick him in gear. So have somebody sharpening hey, you. You know what's cool? That verse is on the wall at our school. Oh, is it? So while I'm wrestling Burley tonight, <laughs> no, no. I'll be looking at that verse. No, no. You're going to get sharp tonight. No, no. That is right. He, I, I remember I, that when you I remember that verse? you get your belt. Yep. I think yep. there in, is. In Burley's case, you could swap yep. iron for steel, though. Yeah. That man a little harder than iron. Iron, iron, beam. iron, iron rust. <laughs> uh, that man more like stainless. Uh, I think so. Ooh, yeah, I man. think so. Stainless don't rust. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see y'all next time here in the Duck Call. Right. We're out. We're out. We're out.